When talking about Nicki Minaj's choice to not have her five-year-old verse cleared for Kanye West's upcoming album, the rapper demonstrated his inability to handle rejection and expressed his utter fury. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Okay. New video from Yee's Vulture's Vegas session on Friday. In it, the megastar rapper rants over his song New Body, which he intended to include on the album. I made that girl rewrite her verse three times for Monster. He informed the throng that he had made Nicki write her jaw-dropping Monster verse three times from his 2010 MBDTF album. I supported her career. You understand what I'm saying? And that he felt he had earned some reciprocal respect over the years. Ty Dolla Sign didn't seem to find it humorous when he joked that Nicki's refusal to cooperate would cause the album to be delayed entirely, but it doesn't appear like Nicki is cooperating. Oh, we just ain't gonna push out. What the f***? The song was recorded in 2018 by the two legendary rappers for his never-released Yanhai album. However, Kenny is currently attempting to incorporate it into his upcoming collaborative effort, Vultures, with Ty Dolla Sign. On Thursday, December 14th, he posted a screenshot of a text message he made to Nicki requesting permission to use the song on X. Hi it's Yee, may I call you about clearing new body on the new album, he wrote, while tagging the Pink Friday 2 rapper in his post. Nicki Minaj denied his request shortly after, citing the song's age, on Instagram Live. Now regarding Kanye, that train has left the station. She said, No disrespect, I just put out a brand new album. Why would I put out a song that's been out for three years? Come on guys. In an October 2019 interview with The Shade Room, Nicki Minaj disclosed that she wasn't seeing eye to eye with the Yeezy entrepreneur, despite being asked to redo her new body verse to match Kanye West's gospel album Jesus is King. What's funny is that I did a song with Kanye that he now wants to transform into a gospel song, she said. I done wrote three different verses chilly, and I don't know. We ain't seeing eye to eye on it. I don't know, but of course, I love and respect Kanye, and Kim, we'll see what happens with that. Later, in February 2022, Nikki went into further detail on the status of New Body in an interview with Hot 106. I respect everybody and where they are in life, where they are spiritually, she said. The public adored New Body. Like, New Body is the biggest hit record that never came out. So what I thought was interesting was that Kenny made me write my New Body verse four times over in order to fit into where he was creatively and spiritually in his life, right? Only to then, I go on the internet a few months later to see him on Drink Champs. She continued, I missed it by a year, I guess. Had New Body been out when he was not in his gospel era, then it would have seen the light of day. But, it didn't, so it wasn't meant to be. Everybody knows that's the hit that got away I think the ship has sailed for New Body. Everybody has come to love the original way they heard it. And modified version of New Body was performed by Ty Dolla Sign and Kanye West at their Vultures listening session earlier this week in Miami. The album has not yet surfaced on streaming sites, despite being slated for release at midnight on Friday, December 15th. It's unclear if the delay is entirely due to Nicki Minaj's refusal to approve New Body. Nicki Minaj recently said on X that she would be allowing some of the barbs to choose which songs will be included in the deluxe version of Pink Friday 2. He requested them to show documentation that they bought all four album versions digitally, or on vinyl in accordance with the contest rules. But she didn't hesitate to inform them when Billboard attempted to sabotage her competition by threatening to withhold some album sales in exchange for requiring proof of purchase. Been discussing my 100 barbs contest for months, she wrote. They said Billboard reached out to say they gone take away sales for me telling y'all about the 100 barbs thing. Can't wait until these next six hours are up so I can tell y'all some shit. You can give out millions in cash app money though. Low. So Barb's, me asking you to show proof of something that was already delivered or purchased is against the rules. So PLS disregard. Apologies. After that, Nikki told her followers not to purchase or listen to the album any longer, claiming that Billboard and other businesses were attempting to bring her down. She said that they are specifically targeting her, pointing out that other artists have participated in similar competitions with no repercussions. They changed all those other rules specifically for me yet their own people are the ones suffering from it and will continue to, she said in a subsequent tweet. I don't need any validation. Album is phenomenal and my fans as well as others love it, but they're so angry they couldn't stop me. Regardless, it doesn't look like Nikki's letting the debacle get her down, as she went on to let everyone know she isn't worried about sales. Threatening me like what? Huh. She wrote. You don't scare me. Take away all the sales y'all want. I've never not ended up feeling sorry for my enemies. Read that line again. God is in control. Nikki Minaj appeared to have a great time as she joined Kai Sinet for his stream last night. She had the opportunity to reconnect with her Lil Uzi Vert collaboration, meet some of the streamer's family and friends, and more. The release of her highly anticipated album Pink Friday 2 and her impending tour, Nicki has a lot going on these days, so her fans were happy to see her enjoying fun. 
However, not everyone found Nikki's appearance on Kai's Live to be very impressive. Elliot Wilson, a hip-hop journalist, recently shared his sardonic thoughts about the collaboration on X. The 21-year-old and his group are seen cheering Nikki on while she twerks. He posted a screenshot of the stream and captioned it simply hip-hop journalism. Many have seen this as a jab at the appearance, as he seems to imply that new ways for musicians to promote themselves are intrinsically inferior, to what he might offer, such as a traditional sit-down interview. Wilson has already come under fire from some commenters, who say it's unjust of him to disparage someone after a performance like this that garners so much attention. Many are defending Nikki, pointing out that she's interacting with younger fans and giving a young black man a voice support. So your old news, this is the new wave keep up. One critical Instagram commenter writes. Another says, Nikki went and had fun. It was about good vibes anybody hating on the stream is a hater gag. Others are noting how Nikki's also been doing plenty more traditional interviews lately as well. Charlemagne the God has said that Nicki Minaj's rollout for Pink Friday 2 fell short of his expectations. I hate that, you know, this album didn't have a bigger rollout. We knew it was coming out, but it's Nicki Minaj, he said on the latest episode of The Breakfast Club on Friday. She's not to, know, whoever she's she signed to, it's just like, yo, Nicki needed and deserved what did a you bigger want? rollout. What did you she got want? records on this album. Why wouldn't a single come out? He ain't like, why wouldn't a big video come out? He continued. The label in general should have had a bigger plan. For a Nicki Minaj album. I'm sick of big artists dropping and there's no rollout. Yo, you have to stop relying. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly, subscribe. See you.